the Angels have just fired manager Joe Madden, which is shocking if I would have told you this in 2020 when the Angels hired him because everyone was super hyped. I mean, I think for the most part, everyone was hyped. Most people had very positive reactions about the Angels hiring Joe Madden. And fast forward three years later, he's gone. And I, I guess I might as well start with my reaction to the Angels' 12-game losing streak, which is crazy to say the least. It's, I believe no other team has had this long of a losing streak this season. Um, I don't know if the Angels have ever had this long of a losing streak. And it, it, it it's just upsetting. It's just, it's just upsetting. You know, there's, I don't really know what there is to say about it you know like collectively collectively the team is just completely slumping um so many like a handful of games that we should have easily won uh we lost and you know these these tight games where it comes down to one or two decisions you know joe madden could have changed a lot of this you know he could have made better decisions the phillies had a walk-off homer um he had Iglesias in to close it out, and then he took him out and put in, I think, Jimmy Herget. Uh, he gave up a walk-off home run to like the worst hitter on the Phillies. It's just perplexing, confusing decisions. And here's the thing that I want to get out there. I was complaining about Joe Madden when the Angels were on our huge winning streak. When the Angels were at the very top of the division doing insane, I, I was still complaining about Joe Madden. I still didn't want him. So th now that we're losing, now everyone's on the fire Joe Madden thing. You know, I've seen it from the beginning. I don't, the lineups he puts out there is confusing. The pitching changes are confusing. It leaves everyone scratching their heads. And maybe if we were still winning, we didn't have, we wouldn't have to, um, we wouldn't have to, what's the word? Like question it. We wouldn't have to question it if we were still winning, but now, since we've seen the 12-game losing streak, obviously, he's probably not the move. Now, is hire, is firing Joe Madden going to completely change everything? No, but it's a change, and I think it's a change we clearly need. We clearly need something different, but here's the thing. I'm not, maybe it's crazy to say this, but I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried. The fact is that we still do have a good team. Uh, maybe people don't believe that. I think we still have a good team and we're like a game behind the wild card. So realistically, I think we are a playoff talent team. And here's the thing. We lost all these close games, but they were all close games that we should have won. We have the talent to win. If we just fix these, I guess, like choking moments where we choke and we're not clutch. If we just like turn this around and win the games we're supposed to, then it's a completely different story. So. I, I think people just got way too optimistic when the Angels were doing so good. Because here's the thing. We we aren't a top team in the MLB by by any means. And now we're literally under 500. I don't think we're that bad to be under 500. I don't think we're going to end the season uh, around 500. I think we're going to end the season above 500 and at a wild card spot. But... Uh, I, so, like I said, I do think we're a playoff team, but are we a World Series team? No. I don't think we're anywhere close to a World Series team. Um, and when we got off to this crazy start, I, I was thinking like, okay, this isn't going to last. I'm not expecting us to be ahead of the Astros for very long. Uh, realistically, I didn't expect us to drop this far behind the Astros, but no, I definitely didn't think we were going to stay competitive too competitive with the Astros I thought I thought I did think that for maybe a couple moments there but for the most part like people are so like jump jumping ship like it's either like oh we're the best team in the league or we're the worst like let's be somewhere in the middle this is a shitty horrible streak but like it is what it is like we are now the fact that we are we're lucky we're, we should be happy that we had this good of a start uh, that we're still in the playoff picture even after this crazy losing streak. We had such a good start that now we're even after this crazy 12 losses in a row, we're still only like two games under 500. So 
feel like fans can tend to get so negative or way too optimistic. Like, we didn't expect this team to kill the division and just roll into the playoffs. We expected something like this. So here we go. Like, here we have it. I do think we have a good team. I don't know what's going on with the lineup. I don't know what's going on with the bullpen right now, but it's clearly slumps. Like, even Mike Trout. Mike Trout's like 0 for his last 30. But even that, like, he's Mike Trout. We're not going to see him continue to do that, you know? So, you know, again, Madden, I never liked Madden. I think he's got no more space in Major League Baseball. He's he's past his time managing. He obviously had no clue what he was doing uh, with this stupid... Um, he'd put, like, Matt Duffy cleanup or, like, Renjifo second. He would flip-flop guys Ward would get all these days off when he was hitting the best as the best hitter in the league like just I don't I don't know what he's doing I'm glad that's done um yeah let me know your thoughts on what's going on with the Los Angeles Angels uh yeah obviously you know 12 losses in a row it's not too not great not great not gonna lie um knowing now we still got the Red Sox uh Mets Dodgers it's gonna be a struggle it's gonna continue to be a struggle um yeah let me know your thoughts down below that's it peace